Good morning everyone, I'm Shane Chartrand here with another health supplement tip for the day. So um, have you ever talked to those people who hate supplements and they always tell you, I don't need any supplements, I get all my nutrition from food. <laughs> those people drive me nuts. But the foods that tend to do that are called superfoods and it's not very often that your standard people that you're talking to in your office have tons and tons of different superfoods. But today I'm going to talk about a superfood called Manuka Honey. So Manuka Honey, it's loaded with amino acids, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, all kinds of goodness. Um, and that would be something that you would look for in a superfood. But something else you would look for in a superfood is something that treats the body. Does the body good, okay? Um, now, we all hate antibiotics. We hate them. We don't like taking them. They affect our stomach. They affect our immunity, all kinds of stuff. The last time I took antibiotics, I could not stop going to the washroom. I had to get off a day early before the 10th day. It was really bad. I just, I had a rough go with it, but um, they helped. But then, you know, you have to help your body recuperate after that. So, um, if you want to take a natural alternative, Manuka honey is a great uh, natural antibiotic and there's several natural antibiotics on the market, but um, a lot of the natural antibiotics don't contain all that great goodness of vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff. So Manuka honey has that. So it is a natural antibiotic. How do we know this? Okay. So if you take a look at the bottle of Manuka honey, at the front, there's a number here. This says K factor 12. I'd like to thank my buddy um, who will remain nameless and does not work for this company. But um, I was talking to Manuka honey and they had an extra bottle and they gave me a bottle of Manuka honey. So um, where was I going with this? I cannot remember. Uh, oh yeah, the number, that's what it is. So we were talking the number, um, and how do you know if it's antibacterial? So K factor 12, but on a lot of companies' bottles, you will see something called UMF. UMF is called a unique Manuka factor, and that is a unit of measurement. I think it's a licensing that companies get um, that actually measure the antibacterial properties of that specific Manuka honey from New Zealand. Now, whether Spoon itself uses K Factor as a trademark, this company I will trust it with K Factor because uh, Wetter Spoon makes amazing Manuka honey. They're very, very well known. Check them out online. I think it's wetterspoon.com or wetterspoon.ca here in Canada. Um, they're very well known. They make excellent Manuka honeys. Um, so the numbers on there. So you may be at the health food store. You may be looking and you see all these numbers. 10, 12, 16, 20. The numbers higher than 20. So what should you look for? This is what you should look for. Anywhere from that UMF or this K factor of between, I'd say, 10 and 16. Okay, anything lower doesn't really have that much therapeutic uh, property to it. It's, sure, it's probably got the vitamins, minerals, and everything, but it's not enough to treat the body's infections. Make sense? Okay, here's the other end of the spectrum. Anything above 16, when you start hitting 20, I've seen 50s, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe. I very rarely am. Years ago, I thought, and I may be wrong, did I seen a hundred? Oh, now I'm puzzled. I don't know, I've seen a lot of bottles. But any of those numbers that are higher than 16, they are to be used with caution. And I don't mean caution like they will harm you in any way, shape, or form, but because they're antibacterial, they may harm the good bacteria in your gut. So you want to use very little each day, okay, of those higher numbers. Um, so yeah, stick with like a, a, like I said, a UMF or a K factor between 10 and 16. That's really good to treat the body. It's a great strength. You don't have to worry about it too much. Um, now, what will it do for you to take some, um, some of this stuff? 
So the first thing I ever learned about Manuka honey is it's great for ulcers. Ulcers are, of course, caused by bacteria. A lot of people think it's caused by stress. No, it's caused by a bacteria. So taking this good Manuka honey goes in and it's a natural antibiotic, goes after the bad bacteria. Get it? Makes sense. That's what antibiotics do. But this is all natural. Okay? Um, so that's one thing it's going to do. Um, because it's loaded with all those great things like vitamins, minerals, enzymes, amino acids, energy through the roof, you will have energy because when you take nutrients, guess what? You feel amazing. Um, getting back onto the ulcer topic, great for gut health because in our gut we have a balance of good bacteria and bad bacteria. And um, of course, sometimes that bad bacteria tends to take over due to our lifestyles. So a good uh, natural antibiotic can help to keep that in check. Make sure to take your probiotics too every day. Get that bacteria, okay? Um, something else I heard that's really interesting. I did a video on apple cider vinegar not long ago talking about uh, getting rid of warts. Wetterspoon, or not Wetterspoon, <laughs> Manuka honey is something I have heard several times. People tell me firsthand that it's gotten rid of their warts. This was a few years ago. Um, they would put a bandage on overnight, tape it on their hand or wherever the wart was, and <laughs> sleep with it overnight. I don't know how many days, but they would tell me that um, the wart would disappear eventually. So I, I just thought of something totally immature and now I'm kind of giggly about it. Um, acne, uh, acne, to put this on acne, I've heard it too, to help to get rid of acne. I suffered with horrible acne growing up, so I know how horrible it is. So putting this on your acne and then washing it off um, has, I don't know if there's clinical studies on it, but I have spoken to people that have told me that it has worked for them. Um, burns, of course you don't want your burn to get infected. This is, you know, antibacterial, so you could put it on there as an antibacterial property. Um, look that stuff up online, you'll find a lot of great information on it. Um, but now we're coming into spring as I'm making this video. So what a lot of people are suffering with is colds sore throats um, and low immune system you know we're all cooped up indoors recycled air it's all heat it's gross and we all get sick i'm just getting over a cold i work with money all day i work with people all day who are sick and um, taking a good natural antibacterial product or anti antibiotic <laughs> product can definitely help. So taking this every day can help to fight off a cold. A lot of people put it in tea. I'll put it in tea if they have a sore throat and that will help um, kill off the bacteria that's in, you know, causing the sore throat. It can help with that and boosting that immune system from bringing down the bad bacteria. So yeah, that's pretty much it that I'm going to explain about Manuka honey. Uh, if you have any questions about Manuka, but I can't speak today. I don't know how to edit videos either, so that's why I stumble in them. Okay? If you have any questions about Manuka honey, email me at shanespiltalk at yahoo.com. I'll put that in the uh, description. Uh, give this a thumbs up. Remember, share this, subscribe to the channel. I've got all kinds of videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's my video. So I'm Shane Chatra saying stay healthy, stay motivated. I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.